How a supervolcano off the coast of Italy became a problem too big to overcome. This week's earthquake finally shocked authorities into action after decades of uncontrolled development endangered half a million people. In Pozzuoli, the picturesque coastal town outside Naples where Sofia Loren was born, the most powerful earthquake for 40 years on Monday scared residents into sleeping in their cars and a makeshift camp on the seafront. In Italy, a country prone to seismic activity, Pozzuoli is part of a densely populated area located on Europe's most dangerous volcano. With 24 hidden underground craters, Campi Flegre, a so-called supervolcano, dwarfs the more famous Vesuvius, which destroyed the ancient Roman city of Pompeii in 79 AD. Politicians turned a blind eye for decades when, in a region of natural beauty, incredible and desirable coastal real estate, building is rampant and the population is swelling. Half a million people now live in cities across the danger zone. This volcano last erupted 500 years ago. However, since last summer, small earthquakes have become more frequent, until scientists have recorded more than 1,000 a month. Then, on Monday, Pozzuoli was shaken by an earthquake measuring 4.4 on the Richter scale and 150 tremors in one night. Although the quake was not large enough to cause serious damage, the resulting panic appears to have finally jolted authorities into taking action after dragging on for decades. They are now preparing emergency plans to evacuate hundreds of thousands of people. And the central government is for the first time considering a more radical option, paying people to leave the country. Speaking after an emergency meeting of ministers on Wednesday, Civil Protection Minister Nello Musumeci said citizens were living with three risks, a major earthquake, rise in land level caused by magma filling in underground chambers, and very complex and very dangerous volcanoes. Evacuation would be a problem, he said at a press conference, if after a devastating earthquake, 3,000 or 4,000 people got into cars to leave and the emergency services couldn't move. For local independent politician Mara Muscara, who is also a member of the regional council, decades of permissive governance that allowed illegal construction to flourish, with successive governments granting amnesties to legalize uncontrolled development, has put communities at risk. The area is paradise, he told Politico. The views are incredibly beautiful and the climate is a perpetual spring with thermal activity that even heats the water in your home, 